guys, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Bretto Live. What's going on, guys? Bretto Live back with another video, and today we are doing a playset build video. I lost patience. I was watching Bragging Rights, WWE Bragging Rights 2010, just, in, uh, just the other day, and I was thinking to myself, as Kane and The Undertaker were beating the crap out of each other in that Buried Alive match, I was like, oh my gosh, why do we not have a Buried Alive playset yet from Mattel? So I thought about it, I'm like, it shouldn't be too hard to build. Maybe some fake grass, a little hole, some dirt, maybe a tombstone. Let's make it in this video. Let's do it, guys. So I got some of the things that we're gonna be needing here in the um, vid. As you can tell, guys, we are outside because we are gonna be using actual dirt in this video. Um, but yeah, here are some of the supplies you guys are gonna need to make your own buried alive playset. I got this sheet of fake grass right here, which is gonna go great on the top of the mound. You guys can use real grass. If you guys have like sod laying around, you could use that. Or you could just cut a hole in the ground and literally just make a box. You could do that too. But I wanna get the actual effect of the mound of dirt. It's gonna look so cool. We got the tombstone from the Ringside Collectibles um, coffin match playset right there. So I'm using the tombstone. We're gonna need a razor blade to cut into the um, grass. Use at your own risk. Uh, ask your parent permission if you need to. Uh, and then we also do have scissors, so then we can cut the um, thing out. And then of course, we do have this unique box right here. This just happens to be a Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com box that held display stands, but it's gonna work perfect for this video because what you're just gonna need is like a, like a, a like a figure size, you know, hole. And then this is gonna be the centerpiece of the playset. And once I cut a hole in this grass, it's gonna be deep and then it's gonna be risen by the mound. This is gonna be absolutely epic. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this video. Stay tuned. Um, and of course, we do have a couple figures I wanna use. I wanna use Paul Bear, because I'm basically just gonna be recreating Bragging Rights 2010. Um, so we do have Paul Bear right there. We have Slow Chemical Cane looking awesome. And then we also do have the um, little singlet Undertaker right there. So I'm gonna be using these figures. And once they're on top of here, choke slamming each other like this, dude, this is gonna be absolutely awesome. Stay tuned guys, and uh, let's get to the build process of this Bear to Lie playset by Bread Alive. All right guys, getting into the first process, we're gonna be preparing the grass. I know it sounds weird, but we're preparing the grass. We got the fake grass right here. Here's the bottom. This is a nice texture you're gonna be able to cut into with the razor blade here. Of course, obviously, if you're younger, feel free. Ask your parents for permission. They should be able to help you out with this. And then I got the cardboard box just as an outline for how I want the hole to be, how big I want it to be. So we're just gonna basically open up the razor blade, make sure you get one with a handle. You know, it's always better because instead of holding like a razor blade in your hand, you can cut yourself easily doing that. So get one with a handle, you know, it's just going to be easier. And you're just going to outline the box just like this. It's pretty cool. Just going to get the box in the general area. I might have to scoot it over just a little bit because of my cut corner. The corner, just like that. Close up your razor blade, put it aside. And then you're going to come up here and should, yep, perfect. You're able to tear the piece out just like that. That's the piece we wanted out. And now we have our base. We have our base, how it's gonna work. The hole is there. You know, you guys, you guys get the picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys get how this is gonna work. And once this is covered, I might even make this hole, uh, deeper, but this is like uh, this is how it's gonna be. Might change. And then just to give you guys a little more visual. Boom, oh man, this is cool. Let's continue to the dirt. Here, and as you can see, it's a pile of dirt. Uh, if you wanna make it easier on yourself, go to the store and get like a big bag of like potting mix. I feel like that'd be really easier and it'll look way more fine too, like a nice fine black dirt. Uh, that's what I recommend doing. Uh, but just for the sake of the video, I wanna use this dirt right here. I'm gonna chop it up, get it all fine on the edges. And then we are gonna add our top piece, which I already showed you guys, making that. And then we are gonna uh, add the hole, add the tombstone, it's gonna be sick. Let's continue. Excellent, go ahead. Are you ready? As you guys can see, I'm a little kid playing in dirt, but this is still gonna be an awesome, awesome result once we're done. I got the box that I showed in the beginning of the video. It's perfect, it still works. This is gonna be great. I got my mound of dirt, make it wide, make it imposing, have it at a decent height, I would say a solid height of about 
six inches off the actual ground. I would say somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, once you get your pile of dirt and you think it's a nice height, you think it looks good, uh, you're gonna get your box like we did and you are just gonna shimmy it back and forth. Shimmy it back and forth just like that in the dirt, making a nice hole just like that. And then you're just gonna wanna bring the dirt in. It's like you're building a little sandcastle. Boom. Don't worry about some dirt getting in the box. We're gonna want some dirt in the box. Make it look a little authentic, you know what I'm saying? So drop some dirt in the box, make it look like at the bottom of a hole. And then we're gonna bring this dirt in on this side as well. Just make sure, make sure the box is good, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's good. Maybe bring some more dirt up here. Make a mound. Oh yeah, this looks great. So cool. And obviously, as you guys can see, we still have these big boulder pieces on the side. We still got to chop these up, make it look really fine. All right, guys, I just want to show you the technique I'm using to uh, granulate the dirt on the edges. Basically, I'm just running a shovel just like this. If you hit like a hard rock, punch that out of there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just running it along the edge, breaking up those big chunks just like this to make it look really fine and granulated. And then just flatten out your surface. Bring some dirt up, just like this. This is, <clears throat> I, have, I have high hopes for this. Dragging more dirt up, as you guys can see. And then we're gonna get our grass once again, and I absolutely love that. Wow, just gonna bring some more up where it's needed. The dirt done, I flattened the top. I tried my best to granulate the sides. This is regular earth dirt. So it was a little tough to cut it all up, but we did, we chopped it up, we got it nice and granulated. I flattened the top for our fake grass. And I did add one modification to the grass that I have yet to mention in the vid. Uh, on the back, we did cut a slit right here to hold the tombstone, because I, I was having a hard time keeping the tombstone up in the grass, because, I mean, it's hard to freaking do. So we cut a hole in the bottom to slide the tombstone right into. So we're gonna slap our grass right on the top of the hole. We're gonna do little creases in the side, push it under, get it, get it, you know, get it good, you know, make sure it's steady, you know, you don't want this thing going anywhere. You don't want your grass going nowhere. We're gonna grab our tombstone, which is right there, once again, from the Ringside Collectibles Coffin Playset, which I still believe are in stock. So if you guys are interested in picking one up, available at Ringside Collectibles, use discount code LIVE, save 10 percent But we're gonna slide it in that little slit that I got, and then maneuver the grass around it, just like that. And now we got our tombstone in place. It is a little deep, but I mean, it's not an official Mattel tombstone, so. But uh, yeah, we got our tombstone in place right at the edge of the um, hole. Undertaker, Kane in the freaking grass. This looks so cool. We got Taker there, and we got Kane over here. I'm very cautious placing these because they are on grass. And then we got Paul Bear, and I made sure to grab the urn for Paul Bear so that he could sit right at the foot of the grave. like that guys and just like that guys we have our buried alive playset so easy to do um get a little dirt get a little fake grass even if you want to use real grass uh it's easy as easy as that obviously it is going to be a little tough um to stand these figures in the grass you could even use just, uh, display stands that's what i was debating on doing but i just wanted the more realistic uh look to it so i did not use display stand edge of the hole he's gonna get off the mound he's out of here he has not he doesn't want anything to do with the undertaker and kane oh my god no no don't do it kane don't do it oh my god oh kane has sent the undertaker into the hole we got the shovel accessory right here which we've only ever seen a handful of times in the actual main elite line we saw it with the undertaker boneyard match and the aj styles boneyard match figures but uh this one is from the coffin match play set from ringside collectibles so you get the tombstone and this in that um but yeah guys so you grab kane you put the uh shovel in his freaking hand just like that and you grab some dirt and you start burying you start burying the Undertaker! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! This is so sick. 
Oh my God, Kane is burying the Undertaker with dirt. Oh my goodness. And if you do have like a toy, like um, like dump truck, because they actually use like a a freaking um, lift and a like a like a bucket to dump dirt into it. So if you do have that and you want to fill it up, make it more authentic, feel free. But uh, just to get the concept down, there's the shovel in Kane's hand. He's burying the Undertaker. He did win the match with uh, help from Nexus. So. This uh, definitely works. But yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to uh, give me a like on the vid. Uh, let me know what other play sets you guys want me to recreate down in the comments down below. Uh, this has been absolutely a really fun video to make. I want to thank my brother Braden for filming this video. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the vid. Let's see if we can reach 1,000 likes on this video. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Brett Alive. Brett Alive. Uh,